Yo, yo, what up, my fellow peoples? Welcome to Australia Worldwide Gaming. It is a dawn of a new era in American Truck Simulator as we welcome the new gaming engine and the full release of 1.50 of American Truck Simulator here in the month of May 2024 as we roll with our first paint job combo in the new era for American Truck Simulator here for you on this trip as we roll with the Kenworth K104 yes this truck has been saved we have uh, saved this absolute weapon of a truck for the new version of the game which is actually fantastic I've converted it over to 1.50 my personally myself and uh, yeah we are rolling with it in style with the Hyundai uh, trailer uh, we have uh, a drive in and it is a pretty long one I think probably around about a 53 footer and uh, we are rolling with a company known as Lemma Advertising Co so uh, they're our advertising company and uh, yeah what better way to advertise an advertising company but to advertise it here with your Aussie Don the Godfather and the Godfather's Mods Company here on this American Truck Simulator action. Premiering first on our YouTube channel after the premiere. 4K 60 frames or thereabouts. I apologize if you see some lag in that. Anyway, we're about to fire her up. We're coming out of Dallas and we're heading down to Corpus Christi. It is a Texas trip. And uh, yeah, we've got some Nebraska uh, companies organized as well. And uh, we'll be having those throughout our journeys when the Nebraska DLC releases. Uh, in the next, uh, well, it's a little bit more than a day at the time of this recording. So I'm doing this a couple of hours after the release of 1.50 for American Truck Simulator on the 15th of May 2024. And uh, let's fire her up. Enjoy the ride. And uh, let's check out the new update for the first time. All right got my uh, AI traffic in the uh, traffic flow folks I've got my uh, standalone freight market pack number two which has a lot of Nebraskan companies involved in it as you can see there there's one of them enjoy the ride this is gonna be lots of fun Same deal as I've gone uh, with the uh, uh, recent Euro Truck Simulator 2. I've uh, got the settings on TAA, 200% scaling, and uh, and everything. So yeah, got the same deal going for it. Yeah, he's been working behind. 
fun scenes with it over the last right. few weeks. So, uh, right. do you know that? Hey, we've got a cat in on board, folks. Look at this. This cat makes turn right. It damn moves. Hey, yeah. Keep left. What? You rude cat. What the? <laughs> Having a yawn. Oh, well, you're gonna sleep like that, are you? It's got a little pillow. Don't you switch that switch to seal? Um, okay, it's got to sleep. <laughs> uh, it is daytime, it won't be active until later. Been using with the uh, increased speeds uh, currently not working. He's already um, messaged somebody uh, else, asked him the question if it was getting updated, um, and uh, he did reply the ortho and he said that he's going to update it when Nebraska gets released, which makes a lot of sense. So he wants to upgrade the speed limits in Nebraska as well. So um, yeah, it makes sense for him to. Uh, release it after that so yeah just be patient with the modder and other modders as well you know like it's um, at the moment I'm missing a lot of trucks and Kate to the Kenworth 200 is one of them so um, and obviously the uh, some of the European ones that I convert that convert over to uh, American truck from keep left from the soap uh, soap does that so Anyway, the good news is we've still got our sizzler and uh, black stump and all that. They're still in the uh, game. And You're going to hit something. Looks like the McDonald's is not glitching out like it was before anymore, which is good. Uh, it sort of is, actually. It's not too bad, though. Don't ask me what's happening with that building over there. That's weird.
hoping it's not a part of the mod that I use with the black stuff and that that's causing the issues. My TSA SW um, uh, Maxi Trans train lighter trailers, they're still working. Uh, all the SWR customs and trucks are still working. So that's good news there. And uh, now I thought it was time to uh, you know, change up some trailers and uh, start working on some of the American tra left. trailers, uh, the 3000Rs, 4000Rs, and the Hyundai one. And we've got the Great Dane one there as well. So. Uh, yeah, we're going to be working on those again uh, soon, folks. So uh, we have got new skins coming through for them. Um, I've released the Kenworth Pack 2.0 as promised at um, Modland, and uh, I have also uh, with this particular video there'll be uh, links to uh, my mods page at Mega.NZ still, but also there'll be links to some new mods that I've uploaded to Modland and also some uh, other links as well if I uh, come across them. Okay, uh, there's been an accident down here. Anyway, we will... Uh The uh, real companies and gas stations mod, folks. Um, I have to warn you guys about the, that particular mod. Um, the modder has already acknowledged that some of his skins, uh, including the Walmart one and all that, have got some texture issues. Now, the reason why it has got the texture issues is that. Um, Keep left. I'm going to mention it to him uh, through. Uh, I'm going to mention it to him through the. that I use with the sizzlers and that. I hope I'm wrong because I like to have the sizzler and that in the game. It just makes it you know, feel a little bit Australian in the game. There are former restaurants here in Australia that I used to go to when I was a kid. This damn cat, what is it doing now? That, when did I pee like that?
this will be a part of our Thursday lineup, folks. Uh, so uh, this will be our Thursday video. We've got another weekend wave coming your way. second there actually uh, I just wanted to know if there was a Walmart back there but no it's see it's not advertised as a Walmart to say so yeah that's um okay. you're going too fast I've got a feeling it could actually be the damn damn signs mod it's a bit of a disappointment if it is keep left I've got some files saved anyway, so I'll wait for hopefully get an update for it, and then we can uh, put it back in. Pink issues with my mirrors on the first video for 1.5 right. Euro truck, but then exit that right. had nothing to do with any mods. It actually turns out it was uh, it was my exit fault. Right. I put the uh, wrong settings in um, one of the one of the uh, codings in the config files. So it was on. There was a wrong number. Stored. It was a one instead. It was supposed to be a three, not a one. So the mirrors have been fixed up now. So yeah, there was no more confliction on that one. That reminds me, I need to put the uh, small mirrors back in on ETS as well. All right, we're San Antonio, Texas, currently coming through, and there is the. Uh, In the uh, Alvaro Dome. A couple of Royal Rumbles have been there recent times. Keep left. There's a spear there.
I have to tell you to slow down? Yeah, they've been copping it pretty bad over the US, haven't they? Around, yeah. Up around Keep the uh, tornado areas. Don't know about recent times, I haven't really been checking it, I've just been absolutely flat chat with other things this week. back there, the sign on there. Exit 
right. Keep right, and then turn right. Swing your banana. Uh, let's go and park her up out the back and uh, we show. Uh, Here we are. Kind of on time. And our latest gameplay. Right. Links will be on the screen at the end of this gameplay for recent other American Truck Simulator gameplay, as well as the American Truck Simulator playlists. Like and subscribe to Australia Worldwide Gaming's YouTube channel today and follow Australia Worldwide Gaming at social media platforms X. It's been American Truck Simulator 1.50 action with your Aussie Don the Godfather. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on the Roads of America. Cheers.